Hey guys, today I'm going to be making some sewing things for like any size doll, um, or almost any size doll I guess, and what I will be using is paper, wooden dowel, uh, tiny little black fuse beads, a plastic yarn needle, doesn't matter what color, um, earring hooks, and those tiny, tiny, tiny little pins, um, mini spools of thread, and um, if you don't have mini spools of thread, uh, I am including materials you can substitute, but you'll still need thread. Um, I'm using a little tack with the, that looks like scissors, but if you have like doll scissors or a button that looks like scissors or whatever, you can use that too. Some sort of box, like a Altoids tin or a a Japanese eraser holder or just something that you found. Miniature buttons. Fabrics or mini pieces of fabric. And pom poms. Miniature ones. Uh, fancy paper. Uh, hot glue sticks. And like fuzzy kind of fleece type little tiny squares of fabric. Scissors. Uh, and pliers and hot glue gun. First, take an earring hook and start to bend it with two hands, not one. Now, go to like that. Bend this part over like that. And now, let's see. Then this part like that. So you can slide out the bead. If there is one, and then start straightening this bit out. Um, so now you can just clip the end. Now you have a needle. I'm making a different kind of needle by just taking one of these. A plastic needle and then just cutting it almost halfway and there you have a needle. I am so sorry I didn't mention that you will need a sharpie. Okay here's another way that you can make a needle with the other end of the plastic needle cut off. Very good. Take a sharpie and then just kind of draw in the hole. So now you have a couple different kinds of needles. Now for the thread. You could just use these miniature uh, spools of thread, but you could also put them down and cut off a little spool sized piece, wrapping it with thread. Or you can do the same with a little black fuse bead, though. Um, I had to use some tweezers to help me so I didn't burn myself with the hot glue gun because I'm like gluing on the string and then wrapping it. So, yeah. I'm going to make a pin cushion by taking a piece of fabric, putting on some glue, and then I would put some glue here too, and then just folding it up and making sure the edges are nice and neat. Just use a pom-pom. Even add on a little tomato top. To make pins, I'm just taking a min miniature tiny little uh, um, pin and, and um, make sure that you see where the uh, other end of it flies like I didn't and yeah now you can also use the other end by on a little miniature bead on the top um, if I didn't already say that whatever and um, Sorry, I didn't mention that you'll need those, but you will. Cut off the end of a tack or button. Use a scissors. Now I cut a strip of paper. I to start putting little lines all the way across. Roll it up to make a measuring tape. You could also use one of the miniature measuring tapes that you can find in uh, travel sewing kits. If your container isn't decorated, then now is the time to decorate it with your, you know, Fancy paper. Add all your stuff into the container. Putting buttons and fabric. 
And you're done. For the final ending of this video, I would like to say that we can't really find out how to post the comments yet. Because I've gotten a few comments, so just if you left a comment and you were wondering, oh, why is it showing up? Um, that's why. So, just say.